What up and welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron Bone. This is Beneath the Dirt. And we are back with another tier list. If you want to keep seeing me do these tier lists, drop a comment below. Like this video. Let me know what you would like to see me do a tier list of next. And I'll see if I can make it happen. Today we're doing Twisted's discography. Whole bunch of albums to break down and get through so let's hop right into it stop wasting any time up first we got the toxic terror ep from twisted this was released during the independence day era this was a tour exclusive at that time when this ep first came out um i listened to it a bunch but i don't really revisit it that much anymore and for that reason i'm gonna put it c tier right off the bat like there's dope songs on there but i just don't ever really revisited it it's been a long time since i've listened to it so i'm gonna put that c tier up next we got twisted nickel bag this was an ep a 420 ep that they put out a couple years back i'm gonna put this d tier i just wasn't wasn't a fan of it i do like the smoking songs even Though I don't really smoke much myself, I do like the smoking stuff um, that Twisted puts out and that they're known for doing. But that's a D tier for me. Up next, we got Heartbroken and Homicidal. Man, this is a slept on album from Twisted. Heartbroken and Homicidal is a dope album. Produced entirely by Monoxide and Eric Davey, I believe. This one definitely went under the radar. I went to the tour for this. There's bangers on there. Circles. Um, fuck, it's it's hard for me to remember. In my old age, it's hard for remember to me to remember song titles. But Heartbroken and Homicidal is a fucking banger, man. Um, so for that, and I do revisit it fairly often. I don't know if it's necessarily A tier. It's low A, high B. I'm going to put this high B for now. That might change later. But Heartbroken Homicidal is a fucking dope-ass album. Up next, we got Freak Show. Top tier. Like, right off rip. That's an S-tier album. Twisted, Fritz the Cat, Biting Nine Inch Nails, Marilyn Manson sound style. But absolutely fucking killing it on Freak Show. Mutant X. We Don't Die, I'm Different, fucking Maniac Killer, like, come on, the People Are Strange, The Doors cover, banger of an album, Love Me Some Freak Show, without a doubt, S-tier from Twisted. Next, we got Mutant from the remixed and remastered Mutant. This was remixed mostly by Seven. And I can't remember the other guy's name that remixed a few songs on here, but the familiar remix is dope. The, what was the other one? Triple Threat remix. I can't think of the, the name of the other one, and I love that remix so much. It's so fucking good. But this mute, this version of Mutant is much better than the other one. But I don't revisit it that much. So I'm going to put this C tier. Better than the original. But I don't go back to it that much. Other than the handful of songs. Uh, there's a handful of songs on there that I do revisit. Most Tasteless. I mean, come on, man. Most Tasteless. Like, my, I, my favorite Twisted album of all time. The OG version of Most Tasteless. Like, my favorite Twisted album of all time. S tier all day and ahead of the pack above anybody else. Just, I mean, murder, murder, murder. Secondhand smoke, die, motherfucker, die. Just bangers after bangers on that most tasteless. Love it. So good. And then we got Glyph album that was released a couple years ago. I'll put in that D tier. I don't even, it's just, I wasn't feeling it, man. Just was not feeling it. I've tried revisiting it, tried giving it chances, but just wasn't it for me. Unlikely Prescription. 
another album that was released uh, a couple years ago. This was like their rock album that they kept hyping. And I just, I tr- I've tried, man. I've tried to like this. I know a lot of people like it. I just don't. D tier for me. I'm not a fan of the, we'll call it the sellout sound of Twisted because they just completely switched it up. Uh, didn't sound like Twisted at all to me. Wasn't a fan of Unlikely Prescription. Now this album, Continuous Evolutions of Life's Question Marks, another slept on album from Twisted. The mix is horrendous on this album. It's a terrible mix on this album, but the songs, the quality of songs make up for the bad mix. I think this is right up there with Heartbroken and Homicidal. I don't think it's as good as H&H, but man, Continuous Evolutions of Life's Question Marks is a, is a dope album. Kill Somebody, like classic wicked shit from Twisted. Like, that's a banger of a song. So B tier for me. I don't know a lot of people that would put that B tier, but I am. It's a dope project. For the Fam Volume 2. This had an unreleased Dark Lotus song on there. And a bunch of remixes and other stuff. I'm going to put this low C tier. There's some good songs on there. I just don't revisit it that much for the fan volume two. Generation Nightmare. This was twisted. This was kind of like the the stepping stone of them going into the unlikely prescription album and really diving face first into that sellout rock sound. There are some dope. There's a there's like three or four really dope songs on there. So I'm gonna put that. Low C tier, but I I don't ever really revisit it. I mean, Sick Mind is like, as far as recent Twisted, is a banger of a song. So because of that, I'm going to put that low C tier. I don't think it belongs in D tier because there are a few songs that I rock with on there. And then we got For the Fam, the first one. The EP that they put out while Monoxide was in jail for not paying child support. This shit was dope, man. It had a remix of Die Mother or yeah, Die Motherfucker Die, I believe. Or was it what the fuck? I don't remember, but Gravy Boats, fucking Light and Truth are so dope of songs. And then you had the song over the Dr. Dre, the superstars over the Dr. Dre instrumental. This shit's dope. I'm gonna put it man, I almost wanna put it A tier. High B tier. Low A, let's put it A for now. We'll put it A for now. That might change. But man, when that shit came out, it was before Green Book dropped or right after Green Book dropped. I, I'm not, I don't really remember. Around that time, though. Man, just a fucking banger of an EP. Love that shit. And then we got Disturbed and Unheard, the, the outtakes from Freak Show that were recorded yesterday. Like maybe the instrumentals were from Freak Show, but the vocals. Were definitely not recorded 20 years ago. Listened to it once, never went back to it. Mainly because you could just tell that it wasn't old songs. At least their vocals were, you could tell they were recently recorded. Just, it was a disappointment. You were thinking you were going to get, you were thinking you were going to get freak show outtakes, and it ended up being something completely different. D tier for Disturbed and Unheard. Revelation, an album that was put out a couple years ago from Twisted, I believe late 2020, pandemic type shit, and uh, this is a dope album that they put out. I think I'm going to put this B tier. Not as good as Life's Question Marks or H&H, but Revelation's got some fucking bangers on there, man, without a doubt. Love that album cover as well. So I think that's, I think that's definitely low B tier, Twisted. Right there. And then we got Abominations, their last album on Psychopathic Records. This is A-tier. And maybe controversial, maybe not. I don't know, but I'm putting this above Freak Show. Not above Most Tasteless OG, because Most Tasteless OG is my favorite Twisted album ever. But Abominations, man, that was like a revival of Twisted. Like You felt like they were ready and hungry again and ready to just fucking take over 
And unfortunately, it ended up being their last album on Psychopathic, but they went out with a fucking bang with Abominations. Without a doubt, S-tier, in my opinion. Then we got Man's Myth. Man's Myth is better than Mutant. It has dope tracks on there. You know, Story of Our Lives, Karma. Trying to think of other songs. So High. And because of that, I'm going to put this C tier. And I'm going to put this. I'm going to put it top C tier. I'm going to put it above everything else in C tier. The songs that I really like on Man's Myth, I probably like more than anything else that is in C tier. But yeah, I'm going to put that high C tier. I don't think it's quite B tier. But C tier has some dope tracks on there. And then we got Most Tasteless, The Reissue. Man, I, those new songs, Rock the Dead, Blink, Hound Dogs, Bury Me Alive, Spin the Bottle, all produced by Mikey Clark. Imagine if we got a Twisted album, full-length album in 99, produced by Mikey Clark, man. Just based off those songs alone would have been an absolute banger. And because it includes OG, most tasteless stuff, I'm just going to kind of combine it with the OG most tasteless and just put it in that top spot right there. I love it. Love most tasteless. Either version. I'll take the OG version over the reissue, but the reissue is damn near just as good as the OG. Then we got Electric Lettuce. Another EP that was released in the last few years, and this one's actually a banger. I think this is the EP that actually set Monoxide off to do a solo project. When this first came out, I said it uh, It sounded like a Monoxide solo project turned into a Twisted project. Go back and listen to it. It's mostly Monoxide on there. It's a fucking banger of a project. I'm going to put this low B tier. And I actually think I might put it above Revelation. Because down here is a fucking banger of a song. Every song on that EP is fire. The posse cut and everything. Dope. Dope shit from Twisted. Especially new recent Twisted. And we got Cryptic Collection 4. This is probably my least revisited Cryptic Collection. And it was all the songs on there we had heard at some point, but I do like some of the songs on there. So I'm going to put it C tier. I'm going to put it above the Mutant Remixed and Remastered, but not above Toxic Terror. I think it's like mid C tier category. Cryptic Collection 4. I think, I think that's a good spot for it. And then we got, what's this, the Get Twisted EP? This was one of their first projects after they had left Psychopathic. This was before the Darkness album. Dope songs on there. I don't revisit it that much, but I'm going to put this probably top of C tier. Like, there's dope shit on there. Like, the original version of uh, Breakdown is on the Get Twisted EP. Like, I think, I think that made my top 10. Twisted songs of all time when I did that list. So for that reason alone, I'm going to put that high C tier. I don't think it belongs B tier. High C, low B. We'll leave it at high C. And then we got Cryptic Collection 1. I went to the Rock the Dead tour. Upstairs Palladium, Worcester Mass. Bought this EP. Fucking banger, man. Just nostalgia like a motherfucker and we are putting that a tier top a tier above for the fam love me cryptic collection the first one just bangers on there solo mr bone stuff love it absolutely love it and then we got mutant the og mutant familiar the og familiar is one of my all-time favorite twisted songs so for that reason alone it's going <laughs> low C tier. It's pretty much the only song I like on the OG version of Mutant. I just, I just, not a fan of that album, but familiar, like the one song, one of my all time favorite twisted songs. And for that reason alone, 
I can't put it in D tier. We'll put it low C. Cryptic Collection Halloween Edition. I figured why the fuck not throw that in. And I didn't include every single Cryptic Collection album that they put out. They put out so many. Um, but I put the Halloween Edition one in there. And we're going to put that high B tier. Because at the time it was released, it just was top tier Halloween themed songs from Twisted Love. Um, you know, some of those songs on there, Green Pumpkins, um, Waited Till Halloween, just top tier Twisted stuff right there. Definitely um, high B tier for a cryptic, cryptic Collection Halloween edition. And then Mad Season. Mad Season is a fucking banger. Their best album since leaving Psychopathic. So for that reason alone, I'm going to put that above Life's Question Marks. But not above Heartbroken and Homicidal. But it's a fucking banger, man. I'm starting to look at my A tier now. My A tier is looking a little light. Look at a little light. I don't know. What do you think? Okay, we'll, we'll we'll finalize it at the end, but it's it's we'll just keep going. We got the Trapped Twisted EP. This was released at the last gathering they played at, I believe. I believe it was the last gathering that they did. This was like Twisted doing trap music. I don't give a fuck. This EP's fire. I'm gonna put this above Electric Lettuce. Not quite above life's question marks, but man, I kind of understand they were doing it as a joke, but man, Steve Wonder, I can't remember any of the other song titles on there, but that shit is a banger. And I might actually listen to that tomorrow now that I'm talking about it. Cause it is a dope project. And I do go back to it from time to time. Some of the best shit they released since they left psychopathic and been doing it on their own with M and E. The end of days EP. I'm probably gonna put this like where Toxic Terror is, just because it's it's dope. I just don't go back to it that much. You know, the end of days that was the Wicked era, and yeah, I I think that belongs. I think that's fair, mid to high C tier for that project. And then we got the. The Godzilla album. I don't even remember what this EP was called, but we're putting that D tier. Was not a fan of it at all. It was kind of a disappointment. You know, they kind of went and, uh, you know, the whole three headed monster thing, coincidence or not, I don't fucking know. But uh, yeah, just wasn't feeling that EP at all. A New Nightmare, the first project they released after leaving Psychopathic before they started ME. This is a dope fucking project, man. I think this belongs in B tier. I'm going to put it above Electric Lettuce, but not above Trapped. I think that's pretty fair. I go back to it from time to time. It's got bangers on it. But I don't think it's like that top tier shit from, you know, from Twisted. And then we got Mira Mira. Oh, man. I went to the Mira Mira tour. I did like, I went to like three shows on the Mirror Mirror tour. I did the in store. I was there for that shit. Love me some Mirror Mirror. That's automatic A tier. Not one bad song on on that album, EP, whatever you want to call it. It was kind of a surprise release. Dope project from Twisted. Love that shit. I th I think it's S tier. I think it's it's low S tier. Maybe high A tier. Yeah, you know what? Because I do revisit most tasteless abominations freak show more than I do Mirror Mirror, but I do listen to Mirror Mirror quite often. I don't think it's I don't think it's just that good. I know I said it was S tier right off rip, but thinking about it right now, high A tier for Mirror Mirror. Maybe controversial. I don't care. The darkness. The Darkness is a dope album. Boogeyman. Um, In Hell. 
fucking the darkness or not the darkness uh the breakdown what other songs are on there it's a bunch of bangers on there i think this is another b tier album i'll put this i'll put this above trapped not quite as good as life's question mark oh well, maybe it might be better than life's question marks I'll put it above Life's Question Mark strictly for the reason that the mix on Darkness is better than Life's Question Marks because the mix on Question Marks is terrible, like I said before. And then we got Independence Day. Independence Day is another one of those albums that, like, it has good songs on, on it. The opening track is a fucking banger. Uh, Bust Your Head Open. Um, a song with Dayton Family. What is it? Money? Uh, Money, Death, Murder. I can't remember the name of the song, but that's high C tier. High C tier twisted from me. Handful of songs on there that are really dope, but I don't go back that often and listen to it. Uh, another recent EP from Twisted, Echoes from Dimension X. Not bad. I, like, not an actual bad EP from Twisted. So I'm going to put this one right where the Toxic Terror and End of Days EP are and put Echoes from Dimension X right there, middle C-tier category. Cryptic Collection 3, this was after Green Book. It's got some dope songs on there. The original Drive-By song, remember when Drive-By was originally twisted, Blaze and ABK? If you don't believe me, go look at the fucking booklet, man. I've posted it before, talked about it before. Banger of a song. Um, song with Shaggy 2 Dope is fire. Crypto Collection 3. We're going to go mid C tier. I'm going to put it above Trapped. Actually, I'm going to put it above. Not quite as good as Mad Season. Better than. Is it better than Darkness? No, it's not. And it's not better than Life's Question Marks either. So yeah, I'm going to put it right there, mid, low to mid-tier, B-tier for Cryptic Collection 3. Up next, we got the Green Book. Classic Twisted, man. I like it. Oh, do I like it better than Freak Show? It's A-tier, I mean S-tier. Like, Green Book is without a doubt S-tier, right? Like, I'd be nuts not to put an S-tier. Even though there, I skip, what? What song do I skip on there? I don't think I skip any songs on there anymore. I think over time I've just grown to appreciate every fucking song on Green Book. But do I like it better than Freak Show? I don't like it better than Abominations. It's S tier. Does it fucking matter? I'm, I'm going to put it below Freak Show, but it's S tier regardless. Classic shit. Not one bad song on there. Don't play this for anyone. That's right. Don't play that for anyone. It's not good. D tier. The Psychomania EP, I'm going to put this one right with all the rest of these other EPs. Without a doubt, um, like Dope Shit, tour exclusive EP, I'll put it ahead of Echoes from Dimension X. I just don't revisit it that often, but there's good shit on there. Cryptic Collection 2. Cryptic Collection 2 got some dope songs on there. Um, if you had internet at that time, some of these songs weren't as rare. But having internet at that time, at least for me, was rare. Um, so to me, Cryptic Collection 2, I'd probably put it above Cryptic Collection 3. Yeah, I think that's about right. And then we got Wicked. This one might be controversial. I think a lot of people would put this in S tier. Um, I won't even put this in A tier, to be honest with you. I'll put this... Fuck. See, now, do I like it better than Heartbroken and Homicidal? Mad Season and The Darkness? I like it better than Life's Question Marks, right? So we can just put it right there for now. Do I like it better than Darkness? Probably. I mean, you got Whoa, 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 Whoop, Whoop. Uh, just 
what was that other Bella's fucking hotel or something? I don't remember the name of the song, but I remember they performed this whole album on tour live, which I don't think was the best idea at that time. But man, it's better than darkness. I'm going to put it above mad season. So here's the conundrum. Now I got cryptic collection, Halloween edition and heartbroken and homicidal in the same category as wicked. I think those are both better than Wicked. So we're going to move those to A tier. And I think that's a good list right there. Yeah. That's my list. Twisted tier list right there. Do you agree with it? What would you do? Do you want to make your own Twisted tier list? I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you for tuning in. Much fucking love. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.